Hi, <laughs> my name is Andrew, and welcome to Chapter 2 of the Morning Hash for Jan or Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. Um, if you made it through the first video, I am very grateful, and I say thank you. Uh, even if you watched the first 30 seconds, I'm grateful, and I say thank you. Um, I really got carried away <laughs> with talking about that main topic of the World Economic Forum, but I think it's very important. Uh, it's a very important subject for everyone to know about. So if you want to hear more, if you haven't watched that yet, uh, please go check it out. Hit like, hit subscribe, notification, all that stuff. But uh, this this video will not be nearly as long. It will not be nearly as long. Uh, like I said, I got I got a little more pep in my step. I got my coffee here. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I bumped my tooth with the yes, I bumped my tooth with the mug um, and I, I got a little something to eat. So let's just jump right into our health our sports, our weather, our entertainment, and we'll end the day on a high note. High note. Okay, all right, let's jump right in. So one thing that is uh, very concerning to me and should be concerning to all people is the, uh, the declining testosterone levels in men. Over the past 50, 60 years, it's dropped. It just, it's like an epic proportion. I, I was trying to find a good way to put it, but I don't know how else to put it. Uh, many health authority. This is on moreplatesmoredates.com. Uh, he has a YouTube channel as well. This is him, Derek, right here. Um, I don't know his last name, but More Plates, More Dates. That's a great name for a channel and a website, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a great name. But this is him right here. He's he's not a doctor or anything like that, but boy, the guy knows what he's talking about. He does his homework. Everyone should. I encourage you to do it as well. Let's jump into this. How much do natural testosterone levels decrease per year as you get older? Many health authorities state that natural testosterone levels decrease by 1% per year. This figure is incorrect and is not based on bioavailable bio testosterone. That's the key there. So we'll scroll down there. Once men enter their 30s and start to get closer to being middle-aged, their endogenous testosterone production starts to steadily decline. And it's often thought that it's a 1% per year uh, figure, commonly throw around. On the surface, uh, the levels decline by 0.8 to 1.6% on average in men age over 40. But that's not the value that actually matters. So let's go down. And I just want to get to the, the main point. It's it's the bioavailable testosterone that a man has in his body is, that, is what he's getting at. Um. Where is that percentage? So he, he goes into it all right here. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to have all these links in the description and everything. But um, I, I'm like I said, I'm not <laughs> this video isn't going to be nearly as long. So I highly encourage you uh, to click on the link about uh, uh, for this and visit his website. He has great information. But because of this, bioavailable testosterone levels decrease by two to three percent per year on average. So it's more the testosterone that's it very it says it. Right there, bioavailable, the testosterone that your body can use. And testosterone is extremely important for men for everything from uh, your energy levels, the way you can think and focus, your sleep, your sex life, everything. Literally everything uh, about a man is affected by your testosterone levels. So with those, and, and they've been going down like crazy for the past 50, 60 years um, they're very low right now in comparison to, you know, decades before. So with that, I wanted to bring you back to, uh, now I mentioned Ergolog, ergolog.com. They have tons of great information and they have uh, some natural ways of boosting testosterone. Now I'll get, if you want to talk about steroids, we can talk about that. I, I don't necessarily have a problem with steroids if you do them the right way. There's a healthy way to do steroids, but don't go out and start taking bathtub trenbolone or anything like that. Don't do that, okay? Like if you're gonna do something like that, you really, really, really need to seek a professional's assistance. But there are a lot of natural ways to boost your testosterone. Uh, such and there's all these articles of fenugreek is an herb that you can take. Uh, vitamin B5 ashwagandha, combination of selenium and NAC, clover, high vitamin D levels, squats. Th those two right there, high vitamin D levels and squat produces more growth hormone and testosterone. Than so what is that saying? It's saying get outside 
and exercise and you will naturally produce more testosterone okay there are all sorts of supplements out there now granted if you go into like a gnc something like that 80 percent of that stuff you you don't need but they do have uh they do have a lot of good herbal like the vitamin shop the vitamin shops where i go they've got a lot of good herbal supplements natural supplements but again like 80% of that stuff, maybe, maybe more, you don't need. So uh, click on this link down in the description to get some natural ways to boost your testosterone. Um, so that's the health bit on that. I'm breezing through this because the first chapter was long. So I apologize. So let's move on. What's next? I guess I could just look at the links on top. So um, we just had our health segment. I wanted to move on to sports. Now, um, I, I should have mentioned this in the first, uh, the very first edition of the morning hash. Um, if, if you pay any attention to sports, you saw what happened to, uh, DeMar Hamlin, who's a safety for the Buffalo Bills, in the national football league. Um, I have no idea at all what happened. I'm not going to say this. I'm not going to say that, but it is pretty odd. Don't you think that all of these young, extremely healthy athletes are just dropping like flies all of a sudden? It's funny. That being said, Bill's DeMar Hamlin faces a lengthy recovery, but he's recovering. Uh, let's see. He started making great strides in his recovery from a cardiac arrest early, earlier this month. He still has a long way to go in his recovery. In a statement, Hamlin's longtime friend and business partner, Jordan Rooney said, despite being out of the hospital, DeMar still has a lengthy recovery. DeMar still requires oxygen and is having his heart monitored regular, regularly. He has visited with the team a few times, but he still gets winded very easily. He's upbeat and positive and ready to, to continue to overcome this. And again, this link will be down in the description, so check it out. Uh, DeMar, if I, if you, I'll never see this, I, I doubt you will. Um, don't worry. A damn thing about football worry about your life that's the most important thing right now is getting healthy okay praying for you man just glad that you are alive and glad that you can you know still that you're alive i'm just glad you're alive um so that it was a very scary incident and if you wanted to check out the video um i don't know if you do because it's 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 pretty freaky but uh he, he's up he's got a long way to go but uh he's, he's a fighter he's a fighter so uh Let's uh, pray for DeMar Hamlin. Um, on the sports topic, uh, final right there. Uh, yesterday in the National Football League, Kansas City beat Jacksonville 27-20, to and Philadelphia beat New York Giants 38-7. to Philadelphia is really good, man. They're really good. This is the divisional round, by the way. Um, today, at 2 p.m. Central Time, it is uh, the rematch of Cincinnati and Buffalo, and I think Buffalo is going to stomp them. Uh, Cincinnati, uh, their like entire offensive line is just decimated. And then Dallas and San Francisco, uh, 5:30 Central Time. That I think will be a good game. That'll be a good game. They've had a long history of having really good games. So that's the brief sports segment. Let's move on. No, I got one more thing on sports. I'm sorry. I'm trying to rush here. Um, MLB announces 2023 spring training schedule. Major League Baseball on Wednesday announced that 2023 spring training will officially begin on Friday, February 24th, with a pair of Cactus League games before all 30 Major League clubs play in Cactus and Grapefruit League games on Saturday, February 25th. And uh, like I've uh, said in the first one, I, I don't really spend a lot of time on sports. Like, I, I think sports are good. I think that they're good uh, for just staying healthy and building relationships, especially for children. Uh, but like... National Football League, Major League, all the professional sports organizations are so corrupt. So I have a really, really hard time following them. So that's why I don't spend very much time on sports. So, uh, Will, what's the time at? What's the time at here? Where are we at? We're doing all right. <laughs> okay. We'll move on from sports. Uh, let's see. We'll go to weather. Let's see. Uh, this has been open for a while. Let's uh, hit our refresh here and see where it's going. Um, I'm in central Illinois, and uh, it's snowing outside right now. It's it's snowing a good bit. It's not a blizzard or anything. But you come down here, and uh, you can see right there the uh, snow covering the parts of the Midwest. Um, 
coming in off that lake, you know how the, the, uh, that lake front, it really accelerates that snow. And uh, boy, is Buffalo going to get hit again? Man, I don't know. I mean, California cleared up. So, um, I mean, they're still, they're still um, recovering from those mudslides and the rains and, those, and the blizzards and whatnot. So, um, hey, at least the drought's kind of gone in California. You still got a lot of issues in California, but I, you know, the drought might not be as severe. Um, you look over here on the East Coast. There's Charlotte uh, all the way down into the Panhandle of Florida. There's some storms that look like they're pretty serious. Uh, Louisiana, uh, right off the coast, uh, they got some storms there. Uh, I'm not a weatherman. You know, I, I, I will enhance this eventually as I, as I learn as I move along. But uh, I just wanted to give you an image of the radar right there, so you can check out your. Uh, Wherever you are in this great nation of ours, and yes, it is a great nation. God bless America. So um, there's the weather real quick. Let's move on to entertainment. Go woke, go broke. You like that phrase? You heard enough of that? <laughs> Comes to Hollywood? The film business reckons with the financial truth of Sam Golden's quip, if you want to send a message, use Western Union. Let's see. Um, there was something I knew what I was going to talk about, uh, with this one, or maybe I just, uh, what did I open this up for? I can't remember now. Let me see. So basically let's just go. Hollywood is an ideological, ideologically motivated moral community. There are actually people who believe that money and money alone drives Hollywood's decisions. These are always people who wish to deny or downplay the role of ideology in deciding what gets made and who gets ahead in the film and TV business. It's long been liberal. I don't think there's any question of that. But with the advent of wokeness, it has gone crazy. And don't you dare sit there and tell me that television and film and all sorts of media has lost its mind. Because it has. Let's go down here. Um... The New York Times wrote a piece the other day in which the author discussed how audiences don't care about woke movies and what that's doing to the town's sense of mission. Excerpt. This article is based on interviews with more than two dozen industry leaders, including top studio execs, agents, activists, marketers, and producers who spoke on condition of anonymity to candidly discuss the current state of the entertainment business, varied in age, race, ethnicity, and gender. Quote, for three years, we hired nothing but women and people of color, said a senior film executive who, like many leaders in the industry, is a white male. He added that he did not think some of them were able to do the jobs they got. So, again, article will be in the description. Basically what it is, the entertainment industry hasn't been hiring the best people for the job. They've been casting people based on race, on sexual orientation, on gender, uh, why? Why does it matter? You know, all the liberals over in Hollywood, California, they say, well, you people, all the white guys are racist and blah, blah, blah. You're the ones who are so concerned about someone's gender. You're the one who's so concerned about someone's sexual orientation. You're the one talking about it. You brought it up. I didn't bring it up. <laughs> we didn't bring it up. You're the ones who make a big deal about it. So who's really the bigot? Speaking of Hollywood, Hollywood loses over $500 billion in market value in 2022. I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. <laughs> uh, go woke, go broke, baby. We're, we'll move on from that. I don't want to talk about Hollywood that much. Let's go on to the good news. Police agree to DNA test cookie for evidence of Santa Claus. I support this research. Uh, January 20th, a Rhode Island Police Department said it has granted the request of a young resident to have the remains of Cookie and some carrots DNA tested to determine if Santa Claus bit them. I, uh, now that I now that I think about it, why would you dare research this? Who's denying the existence of Santa Claus? Bastards. Sorry. <laughs> so I just thought this is a really funny article. Um, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> the FDA no longer requires all drugs to be tested on animals before human trials. <coughs> Fauci. Fauci. Boy, this, this took a while, didn't it? 
A new U.S. law has eliminated the requirement that drugs in development must undergo testing in animals before being given to participants in human trials. Don't you think that's quite disturbing that it was a law or it was a requirement in the first place that we as that we would take, say, a puppy and we would stick its head in a box and have fruit flies bite it to death and cut its vocal cords so that it couldn't whine in pain? Pouchy! This is good news, though. This is good news. FDA no longer requires all drugs to be tested on animals for human trials. Let's go to the next one. Nice news. This one, I just... A long-lost species, the true giant wombat, has been discovered in Australia. Unless you visited Australia, you've probably never seen a wombat out in the wild. These stout... Quadru quadrupedal marsupials only found in the land down on that measure on average of about 40 inches in length and weigh between 55 and 80 pounds. That's that's good size. That's good. That's a large dog. Um, the extinct dip <laughs> different diprotodon diprotodon commonly referred to as the giant wombat was much larger though it could stretch up to 12 feet long and tip the scales at over three tons <laughs> my god a six thousand pound wombat you'd be so screwed <laughs> That's just funny. So that's the good news. This is uh where we at here. We're at about the time limit. I like to keep these these videos at. I, I wanted to bring up one more thing though here. Let's uh I wanted to end this day on a nice little quote here. Where did it go? Let's see. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> okay. Let <laughs> me drop the wand back here. <laughs> can I open? Can I please open this? <laughs> what am I doing? I'll just I'll just read it, okay? No person, place, or thing has any power over me unless I give it, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I have immense freedom in that I can choose what to think. I can choose to see life in positive ways instead of complaining or being mad at myself or other people. Complaining about what I do not have is one way to handle a situation, but it does not change anything. When I love myself and find myself in the midst of a negative situation, I can say something such as, I am willing to release the pattern in my consciousness that contributed to this condition. I have made negative choices in the past, but this does not mean that I am a bad person, nor am I stuck with these negative choices. I release old judgments and love myself unconditionally. And with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed Sunday. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See ya.